Spiders. You're standing in the shower running palm oil through your hair while singing, hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call. You turn around, and there it is, a big, hairy, eight-legged monstrosity staring straight into your eyes. If you're like me, and I'm assuming you are, chances are, upon seeing the spider, you would start screaming. Shampoo is going in your eyes. You can't see. All you want to do is kill that spider. Now stop for a second. Put yourself in the shoes of the spider. You're a mother spider. Your name is Ella. You're trying to catch a fly to feed your little spiderlings. You've done nothing wrong, but once again, the humans are giving you this same reaction. No matter how good of a respectable, caring spider you are, this is how you get treated. As a young Indigenous woman, I also feel stereotyped in a negative way. So many times when I've told someone that I'm Indigenous, their whole perspective of me changes. To them, I'm suddenly an illiterate, uneducated alcoholic who sits around sniffing petrol. At these times, I feel little. I'm made to be less than everyone else. I'm put in a situation where I'm made to feel bad about myself. Fifty years ago, Martin Luther King delivered a speech in which he conveyed hope that one day we will not be judged by the colour of our skin, but by the content of our character. Recently, when reflecting on this issue, I realised that I also can be guilty of stereotyping. But if you and I do so little as to just rethink after judging or labelling somebody, we can be the change Australia needs. If you vote for me as your Prime Minister, I will lead this change and help create an environment where everyone can stand tall and be proud of who they are, even a spider.